Hello. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, my dear. Great evening. Good evening. Great evening to you too. So I have my friends joining in, and uh, I wish. Okay. I could... Oh wow! <laughs> All set, ah. Huh? Ah, my. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Lovely. And here's my cup of coffee, also ready. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I wanted. So, is everyone is there? Hanged or what? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'll just wait for one more minute because we will begin quickly, quickly, quickly. Good evening, Anka, ma'am. Joining Good evening, for the first Ranjana. time. How are you? Nice to have I'm you here. Ma'am, thank you so much. The honor is all mine. No, it's lovely to be having you with us. I think this is the first time you're joining us. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just waiting just one more minute. Definitely. Anuja ma'am. Hello, I'm Ranjana. I love that cup of coffee with you. <laughs> Hello ma'am. Hello ma'am. Nice to meet you. Same here. Yeah. Nice to meet you again. This reminds me, you know, of what Thank coffee you. with Karan. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish we can start now. We were so waiting for this, you know, coffee chat. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Okay, Anuja, I think uh, we need to start. We need to follow our time. So, hello. Okay, ma'am. And uh, let's all see our cups of coffee. I saw Anuja's cup. <laughs> Lovely. Definitely. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, um, this is a little chat session over coffee, which we organize every now and then. Uh, and here we have interesting people talk about their passions, their interests. And uh, they always say that, you know, everybody believes in something and is extra good at something. And with that extra goodness in them, they try to, you know, bring some kind of change in people around them, in the people that they're connected with. And I think that is exactly what our charming young woman who is just looking at all of us so beautifully dressed because she is going to be talking about grooming, you know, personal grooming. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Anuja. She has quite an impressive, uh, you know, um, I was going through her CV and it's quite impressive. So for starters, you know, she is, um, uh, she has an array of experience which ranges from human resource to communication skills to content writing. She is a certified communication coach, a soft skills trainer, a motivational and a keynote speaker, moderator, social activist with over seven years of experience. Um, she's established her expertise in communication skills soft skills and behavioral skills. Wow. She works across industries, uh, running short and long-term training workshops and programs. Writing is her passion, you know, a big passion with her. And she has turned her passion into a profession. She has turned herself into a skilled communicator. That's why she can connect with her readers through her writings very easily. And in fact, in her seven years of journey as a writer. There has been no report of any kind of plagiarism. Her writings are completely from the heart and original. The art of creativity is the key to her successful writings. And I always say that creativity is intelligence having fun. She yeah. is the content writing head at Positive Thoughts Consulting and also uh, the chief content officer in IDYM, besides having won several awards, you know, in her uh, seven, eight years of uh, uh, long experience. 
uh, lots of awards to her uh, credit and uh, she is a shining star and today's topic that we will be discussing is that we do say that you know merit wins the soul but you know we have to understand one thing that it's not only merit but charms also strike the sight and for that you know grooming comes in handy what is grooming how does it make one into a winning individual what are its key areas is the theme of anuja's talk today so anuja my lovely the charming young woman of today's uh, let's chat over our coffee session let's begin our session with your talk today over to you anuja okay ma'am thank you so much for inviting me for the cup of and thank you for treating me to coffee this evening now i would like to uh, start uh, with my grooming topic and before that i would like to say that uh, uh, coffee is great for a morning pick me up too and that you know that gives me so much confidence and gives me a stamina to speak a lot and to you know it gives me a stress free environment too so we all love coffee and enjoy that now i would be speaking on my topic which is grooming is the secret of real elegance appearances do matter and clothing reflects our credibility and earns us respects in people's mind personal grooming is an it gives us the confidence to dress up in a way that makes us look presentable feel attractive and influences us to present a better version of ourselves self grooming can enhance our personality and help us to make a good impression on people in the professional workplace our image and impression contribute to how people perceive us whether they like us and want to work with us or not while good personal grooming suggests that we follow a personal hygiene regimen on a daily basis and wear clean clothes there are a few points which we may pay extra attention to after all all the devil is in the details as well mind the crease how many of us actually pay attention to the crease lines on our trousers or shirt sleeves every now and then if we look closely enough we will notice multiple crease lines along the length of our trousers or sleeves we may tend to overlook this but it is not a pleasant sight after all the crease in the front of most trousers as well as the sleeves of our shirt is there to add sharpness and sophistication to our look paying attention to such a minute detail in our daily wear makes it look neat and shows attention to detail now after that we come to the facial hairs and all so if we talk about males then beards and mustaches must be maintained in a way that they look tidy and healthy this is the urge to show up at work with disheveled hair and an unkempt stubble which may They make us look like we are straight out of bed or expect to be well received at work with an untidy and unclean look now after that comes the shoe shine part of course yes a pair of well polished shoes always elegantly finishes an outfit an outfit a beautiful suit or dress Worn with dusty shoes makes the entire look unsophisticated and shabby too. Putting our best foot has she frozen? Our well-maintained, polished pair of shoes has a clean day at work or a net shows people that we are confident enough. We pay attention to detail and that we exude professionalism. Fragrances, fragrances are an essential part of. Uh, is it with me or is there a kind of a lag at Anuja's end? Yeah, there is some lag, I think. Uh, with my video or and there is some issue with the internet anuja yeah. ma'am oh it's anuja i was thinking yeah 
Anuja, are you there? Thereafter, we come to cufflinks and accessories, which is okay. very, very important. Whether you like to dress up for a formal occasion, cufflinks are perfect for enhancing the appearance of the output. She will. The same goes for the jewelry and accessories as well. The idea is to keep the look subtle yet sophisticated as these are the little details noticed about someone in formal and business settings which contribute to impressions that others make. From while hair dyes and color of workplace now, it is as advisable not to get too creative with the choice of hair color. It is best to stick to natural colors and at best go up to one or two shades lighter. Workplaces have their own rules that we also confirm to that only. Tattoos and body piercings. These may be considered as trendy, everybody likes it, but they are a definite no in professional settings. Tattoo and piercings must be concealed under clothing and should not be visible at all. Different companies, depending on the industry, what you choose that they are a part of, have set guidelines for tattoos and body piercings, which must be adhered to. We go after that to the breathing part. Fresh breath. Bra bad breath is embarrassing and can make you well as those around you uncomfortable. Maintaining good dental and oral hygiene, being aware of foods that leave strong odors, drinking enough water, and abstaining from tobacco products can help in maintaining fresh breath. Caring about how we look and paying attention to details demonstrates that we are serious about our work as well needs of co-workers and clients alike. While our appearances controls how we feel, the visual impact that we present is important as it decides how people respond to us. We did not burn our pockets or be a slave to the latest fashion trends as we pay attention to the way we groom ourselves. It is a very basic and simple process that involves common sense and making wise choices as we endeavor to put together a refined aesthetic. What is the importance of good personal hygiene? Maintaining a good personal hygiene is necessary for many reasons like personal, social, health, psychological, or simply as a way of life. Keeping a good standard of hygiene helps to prevent the development and spread of infections, illness, and bad odors. Good personal hygiene is essential to promoting good health too. Personal hygiene habits such as washing your hands and brushing and flossing your teeth will help keep bacteria, viruses, and illness at bay. And there are mental as well as physical benefits too. And in this pandemic time also, this is very important, how we clean ourselves. Skills, experience and qualifications are important here. And it plays a very, very important and vital role too. But so is our grooming also. Our appearance is a statement of who we are. Our grooming should create a professional image at work. And we have to be attentive to our appearance and posture. Grooming is the combination and discipline. Maintaining personal hygiene is necessary for many reasons. So called personal, social, health, psychological, or simply as a way of life also. Now, what are the social reasons? If we go to the social reasons, what we see We don't do that if people are talking about us in a so called negative manner. So, I think 
us more 